Have you ever had a bad boss? Someone who made you dread going to work or who made you feel like you weren't good enough? If so, you're not alone. Studies show that only 15% of employees have a great manager. But what makes a great manager? And how can you become one? This video is for you because you deserve a great manager. Be sure to check out my last video for more on a bad boss. In this video, it's time to talk about great bosses. I'm going to review the book, Everyone Deserves a Great Manager by Scott Miller. This book is a must read for anyone who wants to be a better leader. Whether you're a first time manager or a seasoned executive, I will dig into the qualities of a great boss in another video. This is what I consider to be one of my foundational books. I give a copy to all my managers and re recommend it to all new managers. This book is divided into six sections, each of which focus on a different critical practice for leading a team. Practice one is developing a leader's mindset. Miller argues that the most important thing for a great manager is to have the right mindset. He says that great managers are those who see themselves as coaches and mentors rather than bosses. A quote, your people are your results. They are constantly learning and growing, and they're always looking for ways to help their team members succeed. Your work is not just about you anymore, it's about them. Practice two is holding regular one-on-ones. This practice is all about engagement. Employees rarely quit a job based on their pay. They quit a bad boss or a toxic culture. Creating a compelling work environment by making it easy, engaging, and enjoyable to get work done, leaders create the culture with everything they say or do. These one-on-ones are a great tool to reinforce and build the culture. This time is not a status update, but a coaching and listening session. The employee should do most of the talking, and the manager should be listening and asking questions. Do your employees feel safe telling you the truth? Practice three is setting your team up to get results. Does the team know the why? Many team members come to work every day and they don't have any idea what they're doing and what they're there for. Great managers help the team understand the big picture and their role. Setting goals, have a scoreboard, a simple, visible, and updated scoreboard that's also engaging. The goal is to drive and inspire results. Hold accountability meetings for results, and don't forget to celebrate the wins. Practice four is creating a culture of feedback. Providing tough feedback is a must-have skill. Effective feedback should be actionable, specific, and sometimes tough. Leave the emotions out, and the key is to focus on the issue and use your emotional intelligence. It's also a time to seek feedback from your team. Create a culture of feedback. It helps you to grow and it sets a model for your team and gives them a chance to be heard and respected. Practice five is leading your team through change. Miller states, people don't resist change. They resist being changed. Great leaders are tasked with leading change. How your team accepts it is a reflection of how you accept it and how you communicate it. Be honest and open and clear when leading a team through a major change. The other practices that we just talked about will help prepare the team to readily accept and adapt to this new change. Practice six is managing your time and energy. Burnout is real. Gallup reports two thirds of the workforce is facing professional burnout. This practice is about work-life balance and taking care of your mental and physical health. You should be teaching your team to manage their time and energy as well. Be a role model. If you come er in early and leave late, this conveys and creates a culture. What's the culture you you're setting for your team in regards to work-life balance? There are too many bad managers out there and too many new managers that don't know how to be a great manager. Miller ends his book with this statement. It's time to stop reading and start doing. Everyone Deserves a Great Manager is an essential book for anyone who wants to be a better leader. It's full of practical advice and insights that can help you become a manager that your team loves and respects. If you're serious about becoming a great manager now or in the future, I highly recommend reading this book. It's one of the best books on leadership that I've read. 
Very easy to read with a lot of useful tools that you can use immediately. Thank you for joining me today on the Transformative Channel Life on Purpose. If you found this review valuable, please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you never want to miss out on more insightful book reviews and leadership tips. And remember, everyone does deserve a great manager. You have the power to become one. Until next time, keep reading, keep learning, and keep leading. And remember to live life on purpose.